not Gentiles then, are they? Absolutely not. Because people want to say, well, if you're not a Jew, you're a Gentile. Well, I don't see Gentile out there. Am. If you keep reading after Shem, you're not going to see Gentile. You only see Gentile after Japheth's children. Let's go now. Let's go back to the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. Let's go to Genesis, the 19th chapter. Genesis 19. So, you know, Abraham was pleading for him, right? If you find, he got all the way down to 20. We find 20 in there. Would you say the city? He said, yeah, I'll say the city. <clears throat> Let's see what happened. Genesis 19. We already really know what happened. Don't we? <laughs> Genesis 19. And we're going to pick it up at verse 1. Genesis 19 and 1. Go ahead. And there, came the two angels, and there came two angels to Sodom at even. Uh -huh. And Lot sat in the gate of Sodom. And Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them. Uh -huh. And he bowed himself with his face toward the ground. Because, you know, uh, we're going to see what they were doing. Because people weren't lying on uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. That's why the Lord came and said, well, look, let me go and check this out and see if this thing be true. Now he's going to find out. They're going to find out that it's true what was said about it. Because look what's going to happen. Go ahead and read. And he said, Behold now, my lords, turn in, I pray you, into uh -huh. your servant's house. Uh -huh. And tarry all night and wash your feet. Because now and Lot, shall rise up early. Because Lot, he's, he's, he's living among them. Abraham living in one spot, in one area, like to the west. Lot living like to the east. Boy, Sodom and Gomorrah is. Go ahead and read. So Lot living among them. Go ahead and read. And you shall rise up early and go on your ways. And they said, nay. Uh-huh. But we will abide in the street all night. Now look, these are angels now. They said, look, don't abide in the street. Lot like, come on in my house. You know, y'all come on in and everything and, and chill here. And he like, they like, uh-uh. We're going to stay in the street all night. Because Lot knew what was going on there. And these angels... They wasn't worried about nobody coming to them doing nothing to them. I'm going to show you what they done. Go ahead and read. Verse 3. Uh-huh. And he pressed upon them greatly, and they turned in unto him, uh -huh. and entered in into his house, uh -huh. and he made them a feast, and did bake unleavened bread, and they did eat. Look, angels eating. Ain't that so? <laughs> they eating. Go ahead and read. It's, uh, verse 4. Uh-huh. But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, could pass the house round. Uh -huh. Both old and young, all the people from every quarter. Look at that. All the people from every quarter. You know, you got these three men, the two men, how many of what? They come to Lot's house, and now you got all these men standing out. All these people standing out here. Look at what they're going to say. Go ahead and read. And they called unto Lot and said unto him, Where uh -huh. are the men which came in to this to thee this night? Uh-huh. Bring them out unto us, that we may know them. That we may what? Know them. That we may know them. Whoa. What does it mean? That we may know them. Well, we're gonna show you. Hold your hand right here, because we're coming right back here. Let's go to Genesis 4, and we're gonna pick it up at verse 1. Hold your hand, because we're coming right back here. Let's go to Genesis. Four and one. He said, bring them out. Bring them in out that we may know them. What is he talking about that we may know them? Genesis 4 and 1. one. I'll let the book tell you. Go ahead and read. And Adam knew his and Adam knew Eve his wife. And Adam knew Eve his wife. And what happened? And she conceived. Uh-huh. And bare Cain and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. So now Adam lay with his wife and bare Cain and said, I've gotten a man from the Lord. So when he said, when, the, when they said that we may know them, what are they trying to do with these men then? They're trying to lay well. They're trying to lay well. Let's go back to Genesis, the 19th chapter. Pick it up where we left off. Pick it up at verse 5. Read that verse 5 again. And they called unto the Lot and said unto him, uh -huh. Where are the men which came in thee to into thee this night? Uh -huh. Bring them out unto us that we may know them. So bring them out that we may lay with them. Go ahead and read. And Lot went out at the door unto them and shut the door after him. Uh -huh. And said, I pray you, brethren, do, 
do not so wickedly. Go ahead. Behold now. Now, he, now you know, he just put it mild. Mm -hmm. We're going to show you, uh, brother, brother, he's going to get real strong with this. Yes, sir. You know, what Lot say, don't do such a wicked thing. Come on, brother. Go ahead and read. Verse 8. Uh-huh. Behold, now I have two daughters which I have not known, which have not known man. Uh-huh. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you. Go ahead. And do ye to them as is good in your eyes. Now this must be a very disgusting thing <laughs> if a man gonna take his two daughters and let them have his daughters. <laughs> this gotta be a real disgusting thing. And I'm just gonna be nice because I'm gonna let the book tell you how bad this it really is. Go ahead and read though. Yes, sir. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you, and, and do ye to them as is good in your eyes. Only unto these men do nothing. Uh-huh. For therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. And they said, stand back. And they said again, this one fellow came in to sojourn, and he will he will need be a judge. I see, you know, they... Look here, everybody get back. This guy, he just came and stayed among us. Now he gonna judge us? Now look what they gonna say about Lot. All because Lot said, don't do this wicked thing, man. Look here, I'm gonna give you my daughters, and then y'all do what y'all wanna do with them. This must really be a wicked thing, boy. Go ahead and read. Now will we deal worse with thee? Uh huh. Then with them, and they <laughs> press sore upon the man. He said, "We do You know what? We're gonna get you. We're gonna do worse to you than we were gonna do to those men. All because they wanted to lay with these men. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. Even Lot came near to break the door. Uh huh. But the men put forth their hand and pulled Lot into the house to them. They must have got out of the hill, door. boy. Lot tried to break the door. <laughs> <laughs> so, but the angels grabbed Lot and pulled him in the house. Go ahead and read. Yes, sir. Eleven. Uh huh. And they smote the men that were at the door of the house uh -huh. with blindness, both small and great. See, they weren't worried about that. That's why they said, well, look, we're going to stay out in the street all night, man. He's like, no, come on in the house. So, Lot go out there and try to talk to the men and reason with them. They're like, man, we're going to get you now. So he prayed and don't try to get back in. So they go ahead and snatch him in the house. And then those angels turned around and struck those men with what? Blindness. Struck them with blindness. Go ahead and read. I know Edmund's like, man, what just happened? <laughs> go ahead and read. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The middle of 11. Uh -huh. So that they were, were weary themselves to find the door. Uh-huh. So they couldn't even find the door. Go ahead and read. And the men said it's a lot. Hast thou here any besides son-in-law, uh -huh. and thy sons, and thy daughters, and whatsoever thou hast in the city? Go ahead. Bring them out of this place. Uh -huh. For we will destroy this place, because the cry of them is waxing great before the face of the Lord. Uh -huh. And the Lord has sent us to destroy it. And the Lord has sent us to destroy this. Go ahead and read. And Lot went out and spake unto his sons-in-law, which, which married his daughters, and said, and said, up get you out of this place, uh -huh. for the Lord will destroy this city. But he, but, but he seen as one that mocked unto his son. Go ahead. Uh, so they like, man, get out of here. What you talking about? Mm -hmm. The Lord ain't finna destroy nothing. Pass that liquor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> get out of here, daddy. Go ahead and read. 15. Uh-huh. And when the morning arose, then the angels hastened, hastened. Lot saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters which are here, uh -huh. lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. Go ahead. And while he lingered. Now look, look, Lot, Lot, he lingered, he waiting around. Me, I'd be like, baby, let's go. <laughs> Grab the kids, let's go. No, no, leave that, let's go. <laughs> go ahead and read. Read that over verse 16. And while he lingered, the men laid hold upon his hand, uh -huh. and upon the hand of his wife, Go ahead. and upon the hand of his two daughters, uh -huh. the Lord being merciful, being merciful 
unto him, uh -huh. and they brought him forth and set him without the city. Now, what was he doing that he had to, that the angels had to grab him and his family and take them up out of there? What was he doing? <laughs> But the angel, God being merciful, had the angel grab him and his family and take him up out of there. Had it been me, man, I've been in front of them angels. Go ahead, skip down, uh, uh, read verse 17, read verse 17, go ahead. And it came to pass when they had brought them forth abroad, uh -huh. that he said, escape for thy life. Look not behind thee, neither stay thou in, in all the plain. Escape to the mountain lest thou be consumed. Now, skip down to verse 22. Go ahead. 22. Has thee escaped thither? Uh-huh. For I cannot do anything till thou become thither. Uh-huh. Therefore, the name of the city was called Zoar. Because, you know, that's what a lot say. Look, I, look, I can make it there faster than the place where you want me to go. <laughs> and you know this country still exists? This Zoar? This city, rather, still exists? And so, Lot like, look, let me get over to Zohar because it's closer. You try to tell me go here, but I need to go here so I can get out the way. But go ahead and read. 23. Uh-huh. The sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered into Zohar. Uh-huh. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah. Go ahead. Brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. Now, do you know in this city of ruins of Sodom and Gomorrah, they still have the brimstones? They, you know, you go walk around, walk around in this city, and you can just pick up brimstone. Still there. We're talking some four or five thousand years ago, and it's still there. And if that ain't enough to scare you, man, I don't know what, what, what will. Go ahead and read. Now you you re read something in the Bible that's done that because you know you got people saying that the Gentile wrote the Bible. He might have published it, but he ain't wrote it. He didn't write this. And there is evidence that the Bible is the Word of God. And we're looking at it. But go ahead and read though. Yes, uh, yes, uh, 25. Uh-huh. And he overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities uh -huh. and that which grew upon the ground. Go ahead. But his wife looked back from behind him uh -huh. and she became a pillar of salt. Now look, his wife, she's looking back. They told her, don't look back then. Mm -hmm. She looked back. What, she look, what you looking back for? I guess you want to go back. <laughs> but the Lord turned her into a pillar of salt. Go ahead and read. And Abraham got up early in the morning to the place where he stood before the Lord. Uh -huh. And he looked toward Sodom and Gomorrah and toward all the land of the plain uh -huh. and beheld. And lo, the smoke of the country went up as the smoke of a furnace. Man, can you imagine that the whole city on fire? Man, that is really something, man. Go ahead and read. 29. Uh -huh. And it came to pass when God destroyed the city of the plain, that God remembered Abraham and sent Lot out of the midst of the of the overthrow. Uh -huh. When he overthrew the cities in the which Lot dwelt. So now we understand now. So the Lord didn't find no 20 people or righteous people in the city of uh, Sodom and Moore, did he? So he destroyed it with fire and with brimstone. And like I said, you could go to this, the city, what is uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, where the ruins are, and still pick up uh, brimstone. Let's go now. Let's go to uh, uh, let's go to Proverbs the 14th chapter. Proverbs 14, because you know uh, men think what they doing because uh, 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 it's in their mind. This lust is that's in their mind. It's all right. Okay. It might be all right to you, but is it all right to God, though? That's, what, that's where your problem come in. Because other men probably don't have no problem with this. But the, the judge, he is the one that's got the problem with this. Me, myself, I could care less. The judge, though, he is the one, and that's God. We read that earlier, didn't we? God is the judge. He the one that got the problem with this. And when he got a problem with something, you got a problem. You got a problem. We have Pro, uh, Proverbs 14, and we're going to pick up at verse 11. Proverbs 14, 11. Go ahead and read it. The house of the wicked shall be overthrown. Uh-huh. But the tabernacle of the upright shall flourish. Go ahead. 
There is a way which seemeth right unto a man. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, uh-huh. But the end thereof are the ways of death. But the end thereof are the ways of death. So just because this man thinks something is right in his own eyes, this will bring death upon you, though. This will bring death upon you. Because, you know, it's just like our government now. They think it's right. They talking about some uh, uh, same-sex washrooms. You know what you're opening up yourself to? You know what you're opening up this, uh, this uh, uh, yourself to? You got men that are pedophiles going to be going in a woman's washroom. You got men that are rapists going to be going in a woman's washroom. You understand what I'm saying? Why would you do something like that? And it seemed like the more uh, 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 the, the, the uh, more lustful things that men can think of, they get worse. They get worse and worse. You finish that verse 12? Yes, Skip down to verse 16. Skip down to verse 16. Go ahead and read. The wise man feareth uh -huh. and departed from evil. See, that's what the wise man going to do. He going to fear God. He going to depart from evil. Yes, sir. And that's why we're here teaching you about this. So that if you're doing this, you can depart from this evil. Yes, sir. We're, not do, we're not doing this lesson to shame nobody or talk about nobody. We try, we're here trying to save souls. Amen. That's what we're here for, to, to, to try to save souls. Read that verse again. The wise man feareth and depart from evil. Uh-huh. But the fool rageth and is confident. Ooh, he said the fool rageth and he is confident. Mm -hmm. The fool. Now, I didn't say that. The Lord had the prophet to write this. Come on. <laughs> now, let's go now. Let's go to, uh, uh, let's go to Psalms 96. Psalms 96. Psalms 96. Cause like I said earlier, we not we not no judges. We ain't got no lake of fire to put nobody in. We ain't got no kingdom to put nobody in. And we just like the Lord. I am. I wish that all should come to repentance. Brother was telling me yesterday, yeah, and we're gonna go to heaven. I said, oh yeah? Read that to me in the book. I said the only one that's talking about going to heaven was Satan. That plane, brother. And the only one that did go to heaven was who? Jesus. Amen. You know what? I wish it was when you die. Although I don't want to die. But I wish it was that when you die, you go to heaven. Hmm. I wish that was true. Hmm. But the books say you go into the dirt. <coughs> and that's what I'm going to stick with. We had uh, Psalms 96. And nine, Psalm 96 and 9. They act like we kicking against it because we don't want to we would we wouldn't want to go there. Yes, I would. Who wouldn't want to go up there to paradise where God is? But why should I lie to you and tell you that you gonna go there when the book don't say that? Now I'm a liar. Come on, brother. Teach. Psalm 96, Psalm 96, and we're gonna pick it up at verse 9, Psalm 96 and 9. And everybody that you have seen that have died. Where do you see him put them at? Dirt. And that's where they're going to be when the Lord comes. Make that plain, brother. Psalm 96, and we're going to pick it up at verse 9. Go ahead and read it. Oh, worship the Lord in beauty of holiness. Uh-huh. Fear before him all the earth. Fear before him what? All the earth. All the earth. So this is not just for Israel, then, is it? No, sir. He said, fear before him all the earth. Go ahead and read Say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth. Uh huh. The world also shall be established that it shall be, not be moved. Go ahead. He shall judge the people righteously. He's going to judge the people righteously. <laughs> yes, sir. So if you doing righteous before the Lord, you're going to get a righteous man reward. If you're doing wicked before the Lord, you're going to get a wicked man reward. And that does not uh, 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 sodom, uh, sodomy. It's not just sodomy, it's not just homosexuality. It's a lot of sins that uh, that man do. Besides this, we're just dealing with this one today and a little fornication. But he's going to judge the people righteously. God is, not man. Let's go to Isaiah, the first chapter. Isaiah, the first chapter. And we're going to pick it up at verse 
9. Isaiah 1 and 9. Isaiah 1 and 9. Go ahead and read it. Except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant. Uh-huh. We should have been as Sodom and we should have been like unto so the Lord. Lord. The Lord, he was going to destroy all of them at one time. So, excuse me, told Moses, stand back, Moses, and I'm going to kill all of them like one man. Talking about the Israelites. He's going to kill all of them. He said, except there had been a small remnant of us, we should have been like Sodom and Gomorrah. Go ahead and read. Hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers of Sodom. Uh -huh. Give ear to the law of our God, ye people of Gomorrah. Give ear to the law of our God. Yes, sir. Give ear to the law of our God. Go ahead and read. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices unto me? Uh-huh. Save the Lord. I am full of the burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fed, fed, fed beasts, uh -huh. and I delight not in the blood of bullocks Go ahead. or of lamb or of goats. Now, because he, he did delight in it uh, uh, at this time, but he said, look, I'd rather for you to walk in righteousness than you come and making all these sacrifices. You making all these sacrifices. He said, I'm up to here with your sacrifice, but you, you sinning though. You keep on sinning. Go ahead and read. Verse 12. Uh-huh. When ye come to appear before me, who have required this at your hand, Go ahead. To, tre to tread my courts, bring no more vain oblations. He said, don't bring no more vain oblations. Uh-huh. Incense is an abomination unto me. Go ahead. The new moves and Sabbaths, the calling of assemblies, I cannot away with. Uh-huh. It is iniquity, even the solemn meeting. Skip down to verse 15. Go ahead. And when ye spread forth your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Oh, yeah. wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You see all the stuff that's going on all over the world, all the destruction that's going on, all the terrorism that's going on in the world? Why? Because people walking in wickedness. And the Lord said, when you pray for me, pray to me, I'm not going to hear it. Just like when the children of Israel was walking in. See, they are a good example for men to follow and to look at. Right here in the Bible. Let us not do like them is those ancient Israelites did. So the Lord won't destroy us. He said, when you spread forth your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. That's why all the, you know, people praying to the Lord, praying to the Lord, but they walking in wickedness. And the Lord like, I ain't trying to hear that. that Talk to the hand. Make that plain. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you got to walk righteously before the Lord for him to hear you. Mm -hmm. And the, our country should take note. And don't get me wrong. I'm not speaking evil or dignities or none of that. But our country need to take note of this. Because you're walking in wickedness of our country. Look, they have, they have allowed this thing with this uh, homosexuality. They have passed laws for these homosexuals. Some of them got more rights than the average person now. Yeah. And when ye spread forth your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Go ahead. Yea, uh -huh. when ye make many prayers, I will not hear. Your hands are full of blood. Your hands are full of blood. Now, let's go now. Let's go to a... Uh, uh, Let's go to John, the third, ninth chapter, John 9, and we're going to pick it up in verse 31. He said, Yo, he said, you come to me and start trying to pray to me. He said, I'm not trying to hear you. I'm going to show you what he's going to say, because we're going to come right back there. I meant to tell you, we're going to come right back there to Isaiah. We're going to read this first. We're coming right back to Isaiah, the first chapter. We're going to pick up in verse 15. But well, now we're going to John 9 and 31. Look at what he said. Look at what John said right here. John 9 and 31. When you get it, go ahead and read it. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. We, now we, no, this is not John talking about this is the book of John. So he said, now we know that God heareth not sinners. So if you're walking around, walking in sin, then God don't hear you. And sin is what? The Did the Lord say, don't be no fornicator? Did the Lord say, that a uh, uh, man lying with man, or uh, man should not lie down with man as with woman can. This is abomination unto me. Ain't that the law? 
So now if you walk, you call yourself trying to serve God, but then you are uh, uh, condoning this or you are part of this, then you try to call yourself friend of God and Lord that'll hear you. And now now this is what the book says, so you can't get mad at me. <laughs> I know somebody gonna come and say, well, that ain't what that's talking about. Okay, we're gonna show you some plain scripture on this. Some plain scripture. Read that verse 31 again. Now we know that God here not sinners. Uh-huh. But if any man be a worshiper of God, go ahead. And do of his will. And do of what? His will. His will. Him he hear. Him he hear. When you do his will, then he'll hear you. But if you're not doing his will, he ain't trying to hear you. Look at what he told them. Look at what he told the children of Israel. Let's go back to Isaiah, the first chapter. Look at what he told them. Isaiah 1, and we're going to pick it back up at 15. Isaiah 1 and 15. Look at what he told them right here. God is a merciful God. He's fair, ain't he? Give us chance after chance. I'm saying us because I was one of them. Chance after chance after chance, don't it? Look, son, get it together. I don't want to have to destroy you. Get it together. You and dead Israel, you know better. Get it together. Because if you don't, I'm going to destroy you. Isaiah 1 and 15. Isaiah 1 and 15. Go ahead and read it. And when you spread forth your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Why? Because we know that the Lord don't hear prayer of a sinner. Go ahead and read. Yay. When you make many prayers, I will not hear. Uh-huh. Your hands are full of blood. Go ahead. Wash you, make you clean. Wash you, make you clean. And that's all that we are saying. Wash you, make you clean. Go ahead and read. Put away the evil of your doing. Uh-huh. From before my eyes. Go ahead. Cease to do evil. Learn to do well. Uh-huh. Seek judgment. Relieve the oppressed. Judge the fatherless. Plead for the widow. Uh -huh. Come now and let us reason together. He said, come, you know, Save come, the Lord. Let us reason together. Let us reason together. I'm not, I don't want to destroy you. Put that evil from among you so that you can live. Go ahead and read. Though your sins be as scarlet, uh -huh. they shall be as white as snow. Go ahead. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Uh -huh. If ye be willing and obedient. If you be what? Willing and obedient. Willing, because God ain't going to make you do nothing. He's going to tell you, look, man, this is what I want you to do. If you don't do it, I'm going to crack your head. Yes, sir. That's it. Yes, sir. <laughs> he said, if you be willing and obedient, go ahead. You shall eat the good of the land. Uh-huh. But if ye refuse and rebel, go ahead. ye shall be devoured with the sword. Ooh. For the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. He said, if you won't do well, then okay, good. You're going to eat the good of the land. If you don't, you're going to be devoured. That's fair, ain't it? Look, I'm the one that made you. I'm the one that telling you, look, this is how you get salvation. I'm the one telling you, look, this is how you serve me. And if you don't do it, then you're looking for death. That's all there's to it. And that goes for all of us. All of us. So we all got some scavengers in our closet. And we try to clean our lives up through his word, right? Amen. Amen. Ain't nobody in here better than nobody else. No big eyes and little U's up in here. We have Leviticus 20, Leviticus 20 and 13. Leviticus 20 and 13. Leviticus 20 and 13. And then, not only that, we still got to deal with this flesh on a daily basis, don't we? You can't talk about he saved. I'm like, saved? You what? <laughs> you can mess up at any time. Can, can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. I said, well, then how are you saved? What are you saved from? Because you can mess up at any time. So then you, know, you start walking in wickedness again, we're going to see how saved you're going to be then. When the Lord starts smacking you, trying to get you back in line. See, because he'll whoop on you for a minute, try to get you back in line. Because that's how fair he is. That's how merciful he is. Hallelujah. And you refuse, he's going to check you. Checkmate. We have Leviticus 
uh, uh, night, uh, Leviticus 20 and 13. Leviticus 20 and 13. Go ahead and read it. If a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman, uh -huh. both of them have committed an abomination. Both of them. Not just a man, not just a woman. Both of them have committed an abomination. Go ahead and read. They shall surely be put to death. Uh huh. Their blood shall be upon them. You see how serious this is when a man lie with a man like he lied with a woman? He said, put them to death, both of them. Let's go now. Let's go to uh let's go to Deuteronomy 23, third chapter. Now don't get mad. Because this the Lord said it, Brother K would want to read it. Yes, sir. So don't get mad at me. We had Deuteronomy 23, because the Lord, he, he gets strong with it, man. He don't care who you are. What's going to kill Moses, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. He don't care who you are. Deuteronomy 23, Deuteronomy 23, and we're going to pick up in verse 17. Deuteronomy 23 and 17. Keep in mind, this ain't nothing personal when it comes to me. As long as you don't bring it my way, we could. We could. Deuteronomy 23 and 17. Look at, look at what, look at what uh, uh, Moses wrote here. 23 and 17. Go ahead and read that. There should be no whore of the daughters of Israel. Uh-huh. Nor sodomite of the sons of Israel. Ooh. He said, no, no, thou shalt not bring the a high of a whore. There shall, no, there, there shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. Now, what is a sodomite? <laughs> well, we saw he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, didn't he? For what they were, they were going after strange flesh, weren't they? Men with men. Women with women. Man sleeping with this woman, that woman, this woman, that woman. You understand? Women sleeping with this man, that man, this man, that man. Going after strange flesh. So he said, uh, uh, there should be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. Now he's going to go a little bit stronger with it. Go ahead and read it. 18. Uh-huh. Thou shalt not bring the hire of a whore. Uh-huh. Or the price of a dog. Uh -huh. Into the house of the Lord thy God Ooh, for any vow. You see what he called him? Yes, sir. A dog. Mm -hmm. I ain't say that. I really don't want to read it again, but we're going to read it again. <laughs> it's serious, though. He said, Thou shalt not bring the hire of a whore or the price of a dog. Into the house of the Lord. But you got plenty of them, don't you? I mean, they ain't there talking about, well, look, I want to, you know, get my life together. You know, I want to stop walking the streets at night. You understand? Or I want to stop with this lustful feeling that I got for other men or the woman. I want to stop this lustful feeling that I got for women. Because if a man ain't sick, he don't need a physician, do he? The Lord didn't come to save the right. He came to save the wicked. So now, if a person is saying, look, I want to get out of this lifestyle, whether you're a whore or prostitute or whether you're a sodomite or homosexual, if you want to get out of that, out of that lifestyle, then I'm going to let you know, you can come here if you're trying to get out of that lifestyle. But if you said, I was born this way and I'm going to stay this way, then this is not the place for you. This is not the place for you. We are here to help people. Yes. Amen. Right? We are here to help people. Yes. And, and if a man, like I said, if a man ain't sick, then he don't need a physician. Amen. And if you don't think you sick, then you don't need this physician right here. Because this physician right here, the, the Word of God. Teach. Go ahead and read. What verse you at? Yes, sir. Back at 18. Yes, sir. Thou shalt not bring the hire of a whore uh -huh. or the price of a dog uh -huh. into the house of the Lord thy God for any vow, for even both this, both these are abominations unto the Lord thy God. Ooh. He said these are abominations mean these are the things that the Lord hates. He said don't bring them. Don't y'all be coming to the house of the Lord. 
They come in, you know, want to throw their money around and stuff and everything. And uh, uh, a lot of them are musicians and stuff in the church. And the pastor ain't saying nothing. Ain't saying nothing. How could you be a pastor of a church and you let these people come in your church and, and they're not trying to heal. They're not trying to get healed. They're just doing it willy-nilly. Hitting the door, coming in, hitting the door, going out. Hitting the door, coming in, hitting the door, going out. Ain't trying to change. <coughs> and the pastor, just a lot of time, the pastor, he's standing up there and he one up. <laughs> he really got a problem, don't he? Amen. First of all, you're teaching them wrong. Second of all, now you stand up there doing it too. Right. <laughs> you allow this to go on. <coughs> Go ahead and read. What verse you at? 19. You finish at 18? Yes, sir. All right, let's go now. Let's go. We don't want to we don't want to offend nobody too much. <laughs> so let's go. Let's go. Because of many things we offend all, don't we? Whether we tell the people this, we tell the people that somebody going to get offended somewhere, aren't they? Let's go now. Let's go to 1 Peter, the fourth chapter. We're going to pick it up at verse 1. 1 Peter 4 and 1. A lot of people say, well, uh, what's wrong with y'all? And we look at him and let them like, what's wrong with you? You the one got the problem. You know, well, you know, you can't accept another person's uh, views and you can't accept another person's feelings. <laughs> no, I can't. No, I can't. I mean, to each his own, don't get me wrong. But I don't have to accept it, though. Right? I don't have to accept it. If I go to the store, right, and then I pay for my, uh, 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 I pay for my product, and the guy owes me ten dollars, but he won't give me five. I don't have to accept that, do I? No, man, you owe me ten dollars, not five. I don't have to accept that. We have First Peter four. 1 Peter 4 and 1. Go ahead and read it. For as much then as Christ hath suffered for us in the flesh, uh -huh. arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. Go ahead. For he that hath suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin, uh -huh. that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men. See that? <laughs> That he should no longer live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of man. Go ahead and read. But to the will of God. But to the will of God. You don't do after what man tell you to do. You do the will of God. Go ahead and read. For the time pass of all of our life may for the time pass of our life may suffice us uh -huh. to have wrought the will of the Gentiles. Go ahead. When we walked in the lasciviousness. Now that's excessful lust right there. Less, the lasciviousness. Uh huh. When we walk in lasciviousness, lust, excess of wine, uh -huh. revelings, banqueting, banqueting uh -huh. and abominable idolatries. Go ahead. Wherein they think it's strange that ye run not with them to the same access of riot. See, they, they, they think it's strange yes, sir. that you don't condone this. Something wrong with you now. The truth has been turned upside down. Well, you can't respect nobody's feelings and other man. Get out of my face. I ain't got to. I mean, I can respect a person without going along with their lifestyle, can't I? I don't have to, I don't have to accept that. So people think something wrong with you because you don't go along with that. Because now it's a law. Uh, uh, for for uh, homosexuals now, you supposed to go. Look, hey man, look, everybody, you know, just the law. Everybody's supposed to. Uh uh. How am I gonna deal with that and deal with my God too? When He says an abomination, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> go ahead and read though. What verse you at? Uh, uh, four. Read that again. Wherein they think it strange that ye run not with them to the same excess of rights for uh -huh. the evil of you. Go ahead. They see they speak evil of you. Yes, sir. Let me go on national TV and start speaking out against this and see what will happen to me. 
You see what happened to that boy that was on that uh, doctor show, what was his name, Washington? <laughs> he started speaking out against it, and what they do? They got rid of him. You can't, you, you start speaking out against this on national TV and see what's going to happen to you. You might get a call from the president. <laughs> uh, right there, uh. <laughs> Go ahead, read. <laughs> okay. Five. Uh-huh. Who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead? Uh-huh. For for this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead. Go ahead. That they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to God in the spirit. Go ahead. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober. And watch unto unto prayer. So he said, "Be ye sober and watch unto prayer." Yes, sir. Be ye sober. He ain't talking about don't be drinking. He ain't talking about that. So he talking about sober yes. in the mind, That's right. walking in the spirit, Indeed. and not in the lust of the flesh. Make the claim, brother. Let's go to Daniel now. Daniel the second chapter. You know, cause uh, uh, so a couple of years ago, I was on the radio with with the uh, uh, radio personality. And, uh, you know, we, this was the topic that they were talking about. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and so I was telling them that, you know, God don't condone this. And he just went off and then his nephew started talking stuff. And, you know, and then so another sister, she got on there and started talking stuff. And then it got back to somebody and then they was like, well, you know, we're not supposed to be talking about no, uh, uh, Politics, because the president, you know, uh, he said something about this. He was all right with it, with this homosexuality thing. He, he was all right with it, and so I was speaking out against it. But then I heard flack even in Israel. But for the persons that talk about we're not supposed to deal with politics, don't you know that Israel, the prophets, they deal with politicians? What you think a king is? What you think a prince is? Now, let's go over to Daniel, the second chapter. Daniel was in Nebuchadnezzar's, uh, one, of, one of Nebuchadnezzar's men in his court. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were too. Yeah. They were a part of his government. We had Daniel, the second chapter, Daniel, and don't get me wrong, I'm not speaking against nobody, no government, nobody. Daniel 2 and 21. Daniel 2 and 21. When you get it, go ahead and read it. And he changed the times and the seasons. Uh-huh. He removed kings and set up up kings. Now, wait a minute now. We're talking about the Lord now. Yes, sir. He removed kings and he set them up. Go ahead and read. He giveth wisdom unto the wise, uh -huh. and knowledge to them that know understanding. He revealed the deep and secret things. Uh -huh. He knoweth what is in the darkness, and the light dwelleth within, with, with him. Excuse me. Skip, to, skip down to verse 46. Skip down to verse 46. Go ahead and read. 46. Uh-huh. Then the king Nebuchadnezzar fell upon his face and worshipped Daniel. Uh, now look, this is Nebuchadnezzar. Now he the king. He done fell down and worshipped Daniel. Go ahead and read. And commanded that they should offer an oblation, offer an oblation and sweet odor, odors unto him. Uh -huh. The king answered unto Daniel and said, uh -huh. Of a truth it is that your God is a God of God. Now wait a minute. Now this one, now look at what Nebuchadnezzar is saying. He the king. He said, Of a truth, uh, uh, of a truth, uh, thy God is God of gods. Go ahead. And the Lord of kings. Uh huh. And a, and a revealer of secrets. Go ahead. Seeing thou could have revealed this secret. Now look. He, he called Daniel's God the God of God. This is a king now. Now, let's go to Ezekiel. Ezekiel, the third chapter. <coughs> Ezekiel, the third chapter. Ezekiel 3, and we're going to pick it up at verse 17. Ezekiel 3 and 17. Will you get it? Go ahead and read it. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Uh -huh. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth. 
and give them warning from me. Now he said, give them warning from me. Go ahead. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, uh -huh. nor speaketh to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, uh -huh. the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. Go ahead. You don't warn him, that wicked man, right, Ezekiel, he going to die in his iniquity. Go ahead and read. But his blood will I require at thy But it's going to be on you, though, Ezekiel. Go ahead and read. 19. Uh-huh. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, uh -huh. nor from his wicked way, Go ahead. he shall die in his iniquity. Uh -huh. But thou hast delivered thy soul. Go ahead. Again, when a righteous man doth turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, uh -huh. and I lay a stumbling block before him. Now stop right there. You see that? Mm -hmm. When a righteous man turn from his righteousness, start walking rich, and then wickedness, the Lord said, I'm going to put a stumbling block before him. He's trying to get you to turn back to him. That's what the stumbling block is for. So you trip up and say, wait a minute. <laughs> Baby, I better turn back. Baby, I better stop what I'm doing and turn back to the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's sort of a warning that the Lord is giving you. Go ahead and read. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It says, uh, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die. Uh -huh. Because thou hast not given him warning, he shall die in his sin and uh -huh. his righteousness. Which he hath done shall not be remembered, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Uh -huh. Nevertheless, if thou warn the righteous man that the righteous sin <coughs> not, uh -huh. and he doth not sin, Go ahead. he shall surely live. They say, nevertheless, if thou warn the righteous man that the righteousness sin not, and he doth not sin, he shall surely live. Go ahead. Because he is warned. Uh huh. Also, thou hast delivered thy Not soul. Not only is he warned, and he has delivered his own soul, but he has delivered your soul too, because you have warned him. Now look at now. Let's go to uh, Mark the sixth chapter. Mark six. Mark six, and we're gonna pick it up at verse. Uh, uh, 17. Mark 6 and 17. <clears throat> Mark 6 and 17. Go ahead and read. For Herod himself has sent forth and laid hold upon John and bound him in the prison, in prison for Herodias' sake. Uh -huh. His brother Philip's wife, uh -huh. for he had married her. Now look, now look, he done grabbed John and threw him in prison. Because this guy, Herod, uh, married this woman, Herodias, his brother's wife. Right? Now, Herod, he a politician, ain't he? And look at what John going to say. Because John, John was rough, boy. He talking to the king. <laughs> he was rough. Look at what he said. Go ahead and read. 18. Uh-huh. For John had said unto Herod. Uh-huh. It is not lawful for thee to have thy brother's What's wife. What's wrong with me telling the person that... You, you can't, you're not supposed to be a sodomite when you do the Lord going to destroy you. Whether I'm talking to a politician or not. You understand what I'm saying? John telling Herod the king, which is a politician, look, you can't have, it's not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. <laughs> and that's why he grabbed John and threw him in prison. Because he told him what does say the Lord according to what? The law. And that's all I was doing at that time was showing these radio personalities which they started making fun of it. You know, on, 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 the hung me up. I can still hear him talking and everything. Hear him talking on the radio and him on the phone. They didn't, I couldn't say nothing no more though. They done shut me down, put me on mute. And they going, they going for it, right? Talking. Then 